this weekend we're traveling to Columbus, Indiana to pick up our <laughs> shut up. This weekend, we're traveling to Columbus, Indiana to pick up our new hiker trailer. Take the exit, then turn right onto North Carolina Memorial Park. All right, so it's the next day. We stayed at uh, Sleep Inn here in Columbus. Uh, <laughs> we stayed at we stayed at Sleep Inn here in Columbus, Indiana, and I highly do not recommend that hotel. <laughs> no. Uh, got good reviews online, um, but and the pictures look nice, but the pool was drained, the room smelled like smoke, and it was dirty and outdated. Yeah. <clears throat> Staff was nice, but. Other than that, that was about it. Uh, we didn't film our breakfast. We went to IHOP. We're actually in the parking lot right now. And it's 10.30 in the morning. Our appointment's at 11 to pick up the trailer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make our way uh, there now. So it takes about just 11 or 12 minutes. So I'm going to get there a little early. Um, and uh, you got anything to add? We're just super excited. Super excited, but I'm tired. I didn't sleep at all <laughs> last night. Acid reflux is a bitch. So I was up all night last night. But uh, here we go. I hate what I was saying. But uh, here we go. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. No, I don't know. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. Here we are. Time for pickup. That might be our baby right there. Ready to go. It looks like it. Yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> so here's our trailer. It's ready for pickup. The battery's almost dead already. The new camper and the hiker trailer. What do you think, honey? I'm loving it. So we just got the small one. It's the five by eight. If I would redo it, I'd probably do the five by nine just to get get an extra foot. But I'm laying all the way down. My head is pretty close to the ceiling or the the other side. I mean, not the ceiling, but the wall. My feet are touching if I stretch them out a little bit, but I'm 5'9", so it's fine, but it's, 
I can see where people would want the 5x9. So up here we have little cubby holders for storage on each side. There's a little meter. And if you want up there, there's a USB uh, C and B both in there. You got the 12 volt socket, on and off switch for that. Uh, these right here for the floodlights outside. These illuminate to let you know they're on. We're in the garage right now, so you can see that going on and off there. But have it for each side. Turn the camera around. So we have more storage up here, and then also the middle pass-through that goes to the galley. Uh, we do not have the door open in the back, but it swings open. So honestly, if you're a camp set up somewhere and that door is open, you could just see outside, which is pretty great. Um, up in the ceiling, we got the max fan with the LED light. We ran it both ways, and because it it brings air in and it also acts as a, an exhaust fan and pushes air out, which would bring air through the windows. Um, and we've noticed, so I think we, we feel more more airflow with it actually acting like an exhaust fan instead of trying to push air into the cabin. But now, you see, we need we definitely need a mattress. We'll have to dig it out and decorate it. So you're happy? Yeah, pretty happy. Sweet. We're going to take this out in the next couple of weeks. We've got to go out of town. Soon, so after we get back, we'll, we'll set it up for some camping. Try it out somewhere. So we did get the large toolbox, um, and with adding the the battery power with inverter and everything, they actually utilized the toolbox to hold all that instead of putting it in the back galley. So that saves space, and then with it being larger, we have still plenty of storage. Uh, just for random crap, I guess. Probably stuff that will normally get dirty. Uh, we'll we'll keep in this box. All diamond plated. We got the um, half up here diamond plated. Also, it's all diamond plated down the side. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention while I was inside, but you can see where they reinforce it on the inside. But these are reinforced fenders, so you can stand on them which is freaking wonderful. Here's the, the outside floodlights. One thing too that uh, I could change, which I really like, is the logo used to be up here. And I believe when they were doing that, they had a issue with weight bearing, which would make sense because you're actually putting holes in, in steel. So they moved the logo down here, so it's a lot more strong. Um, we only have two bars at the moment but I did they did send me with two more bars I added one they didn't have time to install them so but they did go ahead and it might be hard to see in the camera but they did um, mark all the holes where it needs to be drilled I'm adding a bar here and also adding another bar in the front so two bars with a rooftop tent that we plan on putting on top uh, is not enough uh, weight bearing for that but adding that third bar will make it up to like I think 600 and some pounds. So it will be completely fine. And then the front bar here will be added for things like uh, if I don't have the rooftop tent on and we're on to haul kayaks. Um, it'll be nice to have that extra bar for an extra tie down point. Um, this is a five by eight trailer and I my kayak is, is a 10 footer. So having that extra bar will be great. That's pretty much it. It's a little cramped in the garage. Max fan, I can see up there. One thing I I thought was weird is is we did get the charcoal gray color, but the top uh, was left in white, and we did see a lot of models in the factory that were like that. Uh, I'm sure to get the top painted the same is probably an extra option. Uh, this trailer we didn't order; it was literally, it was um, existing inventory, so they had it in stock, and we just took it. 
Um, one other thing, if I can see or get close enough, but we did add the 23-0, uh, basically like bat wing type awning, so it'll go like three quarters way around the, the camper. So that'll be nice. Again, more things there for the line, the holes lined up for where I need to drill. I'm digging the logos too. Um, normally I don't like logos on stuff, but I think theirs is very classy. We'll walk around here. Don't mind the dirty garage. And the train that's designed to go through and honk its horn. But uh, on the back here, they got, on the back door, they got the, the logo. And I think it's a, it's a nice, tasteful logo. We actually uh, bought a couple shirts, got the same thing on it. But the people are super nice. Indiana location where we were again. Check them out. Hikertrailers.com. I'm not being paid for this. Maybe I should be. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show the galley. I have my lovely Vanna White to uh, open the door here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, most teardrops and stuff will have like a kitchen thing and water and all that. This is really bare bones. It's just, Hiker doesn't do that. This is basically just floor space and two shelves. And you got that pass through that I'm showing you on the inside. And that will come out. Uh, what's cool about um, back here too, there is a rear hitch, spare tire underneath, but the hitch, um, I want to say they said it held up to like, what, 300 pounds, I think? Yeah, two or three. Yeah, enough for a bike rack or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a floodlight as well on the rear, which which angle to turn in now on now because we did turn off the power. But uh, there's a switch back here to activate that, and there's also a power strip here with light. Um, on one other thing, so there's two basically power outlets. You have if you pull into the campsite, it's got you got to plug in. You can plug in straight right there and then up front I'll show that real quick they actually did uh, places here where you can you can plug in and I just noticed this I was looking for this port this is actually the port for if you want to add solar so that's your proprietary port for that you plug in right there on the side or plug in right here uh, if you're plugged into a campsite and that will charge your battery good stuff all right we're out we'll see you soon in the camper